Hey guys, so today we're making some Mississippi pot roast in the crock pot. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. So I have, this is about four and a half pounds of beef chuck roast, but I'm only gonna use one of these for the uh, Mississippi pot roast and I'm gonna use the other one for a different roast recipe, but I'm just seasoning it with some uh, nature seasoning or you can use whatever all purpose seasoning you have. I'm also gonna add in some garlic powder, some onion powder, whatever seasonings you want guys and i don't care what seasonings you use just make sure your food is not bland because we don't want no bland food y'all okay and so i also added in some uh black pepper and i'm going to uh, turn these over and just season the other side with the same exact seasonings and so i've never made uh, mississippi pot roast but i've seen it um on the internet for several years and i was like oh well let me try it this way and so um what i'm gonna do with the other pot roast i'm gonna put that in the oven um but i didn't want to have to season these separately so i just did it all in the same pan but i'm only using one of these for the mississippi pot roast and so um, i am going to sear this on the stove just to lock in some of that flavor so i have uh, some garlic infused oil that i am sauteing it in you don't have to saute it first as just a personal preference of mine so i'm just going to make sure that i get a nice sear on all sides this includes the actual sides of the roast um, but again, if you are short on time, you can just put this in your crock pot and add your other ingredients. Um, and so this, uh, so again, I'm just using one of those, which is about 2.25 uh, pounds of beef chuck roast. And then I'm adding in one uh, Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning pack, as well as one of this au jus uh, gravy mix. And I'm just going to put it on both sides and then um, I'm going to add in some pepperoncinis. And so I did put about maybe eight of those in there along with some of the juice. But this is a really simple recipe. Um, this really could be the definition of dump and go, um, especially if you don't sear the roast first. Um, and if you've never had Mississippi pot roast like me, <laughs> um, the flavor ended up, it has like a tangy type of flavor to it, but it was really good. And so recipes that I've seen, they put a whole stick of butter in here and y'all know I'm trying to watch the fat content. So I'm using this, I can't believe it's not butter and it's not going to be as much as a typical Mississippi pot roast. But if you want to put a whole stick of butter in there, you can, um, just for some extra richness i won't judge you i promise and so i cooked this on low for about eight hours i set it for 10 but i checked it at about the eight hour mark and it was tender enough to my liking but of course this is gonna vary based on how big your roast is um and so i'm just gonna shred the meat and you can serve this with mashed potatoes with rice your favorite vegetables some mac and cheese i don't know um but this is the finished product you guys this is super delicious super flavorful super simple um, i hope you guys enjoy this recipe please make sure you like share comment and subscribe thanks for watching bye